Back in early May, when our Paula Tubman first introduced us to the Suave family mobile mammography unit. It's, it's a giant bus, and it travels all over Metro Detroit area, giving mammograms to women over the age of 40. Yes, well, it went on its longest journey yet, all the way up to the Grace Centers of Hope over in Pontiac. Here, it is able to help homeless women who live at the center. And as Michelle Oliver shows us, some women had not seen a doctor, believe this or not, in over 30 years. Several women from Grace Centers of Hope sit on church steps, waiting patiently for their turn to get a potentially life-saving mammogram. Among them is 47-year-old Tracy Jackson, a waitress and a mother of four who is in the aftercare program here at the center. Dressed in her work uniform, she hopes she can quickly get her mammogram before her shift starts. I got a mammogram a couple years ago and there was a questionable area and I haven't been able to afford to go back and have that rechecked. So I'm excited about this. I need to do this. Without this blue bus, Tracy doesn't know when she would have been able to seek the help she needs. I don't know when. Is that nerve-wracking to you that that's kind of what it would have been like? Yes, it has been for the last couple of years. That is exactly why Pastor Clark of Grace Centers of Hope and L. Brooks Patterson of Oakland County worked to get the Suave Family Mobile Mammography Unit here to provide convenient and free help to those who need it. I think it's very important because the statistics show us in my health department, a lot of the women don't have access to uh, the hospitals or health care. And since it's mobile, we can bring the, the whole uh, truck to them. I was talking to a lady yesterday who told me she had had no medical attention for over 30 years. And I was telling my wife, Dr. Pam Clark, that, and she said that is the norm. This mobile mammography unit has only been on the road a few months, starting its journey back in April. It was created by well-known Detroit businessman Anthony Suave and his partnership with St. John's Providence. Already, it is making a large impact on the community. To date, we've done over 200 mammograms. We've already found two cancers. Um, so really, we've already started impacting our communities that we're serving. It's supposed to be the latest technology. It's a 3D you know, mammogram machine. I hope you're my friend today. The state-of-the-art machine whirs around Tracy, taking pictures that will provide her with the information she desperately needs. And in just 15 minutes, she's done, which is good because she has to get to work. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yes, it went well. She told me after she, that I did. Everything looks good. So I'm relieved. This bus is a symbol of hope for all the women here at Grace Centers of Hope. It reminds them all that someone cares about their well-being. I can't tell you how awesome this is. Uh, from our hearts here at Grace Centers of Hope, we thank you. Hopefully the rest of these women's prognoses are as good as Tracy's. In Pontiac, I'm Michelle Oliver, live in the D. A huge thank you to Tony Suave and what he is doing. The fact that they saw yes. and found two cancers that day, I mean... That makes the just, whole bus worth it. Yeah, You it changed does. two lives, saved right. two lives. Yeah, definitely. Well, we will